Let's see what buckwheat does to my blood sugar. I see that there is a huge debate online about buckwheat. Some people say that it's much better carbs than rice or pasta because their glycemic index is much lower. But a bunch of other people say that it's actually quite the same and it's still a food that you should technically avoid if you're diabetic. Eat this. Here there is a bowl of 100 grams of buckwheat. So it's about 340 calories, 13 grams of proteins, 3.4 grams of fat and 70 grams of carbs. Let's go. All right, it's been exactly two hours since I ate my bowl of buckwheat. Let's now look at the glucose monitor to see the impact it had on my blood sugar. And I see in the comments, many people say you shouldn't eat only buckwheat first thing in the morning on an empty stomach for all the other foods I eat. Obviously, it's not a balanced meal. What I do is not to show you what a balanced meal is, although I will probably do videos like this in the future. Right now, I'm actually testing different types of food to see how my body reacts to it. And the only way to do this is on an empty stomach, generally first thing in the morning. Now, of course, individual results may vary. We don't react all the same exactly to different types of food, but it gives you still a very good uh, idea of how a body reacts to certain types of food. There is still definitely a common average among everybody. So in the case of buckwheat, let's now look at the chart here and we see that there is definitely a glucose spike. Although if you've seen other videos like rice and pasta, uh, the glucose spike is much, much smaller with buckwheat than it was with pasta. So no, and, and especially white rice. That's because there is more fiber content. So technically it's better carbs than white rice or pasta. Let me know in the comments what you guys want me to test next time.